Holger Blackhand! He's right here! Is that your wife? I was actually looking for the blacksmith, but I... I stumbled upon your house. Oh, maybe I can talk to you tomorrow morning. Huh? Should I meditate a little bit? Yeah, we see the... the thing here, but where is the blacksmith? Not here. Let's meditate. Do people go to work at maybe 9 a.m.? I get the impression that you guys wake up pretty early. Fading yeah. Any better? How do we never see Holger? Up until that point. What do you need? Oh, come no closer. The heat from the furnace is something awful. Can you? What are you selling? What's good? Take my stuff. We really need to get back to the stash. Is there only one stash in all of Skellige? That would kind of suck. Yeah, these axes. That's that. Okay. Um. Yeah, I gave you a whole bunch of money, right? Because I bought a bunch of stuff here. The formulas. I mean, these formulas... I don't know if we'll ever use them. To be honest. This person's selling a black pearl too, are you kidding me? God. God, okay. Okay, well. Well. What we can do is, maybe we'll play Gwent. Hold on, okay? Hold on, Holger. I'll be... I'll be there in a second. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent. We did get a few Necker cards and whatnot. Do we have enough to debut our monster deck yet? I don't think we've used it even once so far, right? Yeah, fork tail. Fork tails, bah! Fuckers' tails are more like cleavers. Oh. Vampire flutter. That's probably good for muster. <laughs> the, the different necro photo shoots. Yeah. Ghouls. How much of these cards do we have, though? We have two neckers here, but within our deck currently. We don't have a single Necker. So that's not really that good because a Necker is only worth two. We have one ghoul, two ghouls, three ghouls. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I guess the monster deck is the sort of deck where it's okay to have a little bit more cards because you want to make use of muster. So we don't have to worry as much about this thing here, this number here. But at the same time, that also increases the chances of us getting a bad draw. Because, for example, if we end up drawing three ghouls, then that's really useless. Hmm... I don't feel confident enough in this deck yet still. The numbers are really low. The ghouls are one. One. Harpy, what's your ability? Agile. Okay. Everyone else is sort of just... not confident enough in this deck yet. The crones are good. That's one good thing. Vampires? Oh, for the vampires, only the first part needs to match for the muster, right? Yeah, so the Bruxa can call on the Flutter. That's my understanding of it, but I'm not actually sure. Okay, well, anyway. If we don't want to use the monster deck today, how about the Nilfgaardian deck? This deck has 32 cards. That's a little bit bloated, isn't it? Yeah. Anybody we can take away, or... Siege Technician. Zero Medic. Zero Medic. We have a one Medic. Do I need more than one of that? Emperor Brigade? We have four of this. <sighs> but it's only a three. Yeah, okay, I think we'll be... Oh, we probably have too many weather cards here. What's my leader card again? Torrential Rain. Do I have any other ones? Look at three random cards. I think that's okay. That's not really... But then again, I don't really use these leader abilities all that often. Abilities that restore a unit to the battlefield restore a randomly chosen unit. Affects both players. Oh, so you can't choose who to bring back. Emperors command multitudes, yet cannot control two things, their time and their hearts. Oh, who has your heart, Emir? Siri, maybe? Not in a twisted kind of way, I mean. Hmm. 
They do not call me the patient. Take care, they do not call you the headless. <laughs> All right. Well, okay, let's try using this one, just to say, hey, we've tried it out. But these, I feel like we have too many weather cards. Whatever, we'll be fine. Scoyatel deck. Okay. Decoy, Scorch, Commander's Horn, Commander's Horn, Emperor Brigade, Emperor Brigade, Gondro Dim, The Dragon, Ten Archer, and Geralt of Rivia. Not a bad draw, I don't think. Two Emperor Brigades, that's good. Two Commander's Horns. We don't have that many things to use Commander's Horn on. Yeah, that might be a bit of, um... Well, I'm sure we'll be okay. In terms of redrawing, though, what do I want to redraw? There's not really anything I want to redraw, <laughs> to be honest. The decoy? Scorch is good, obviously. Don't want to take that away, right? Uh, one commander's horn, maybe? I feel like it's good if we have both, though. Because this guy's a 10. By himself, he can turn into a double already. Okay, maybe we'll just keep it like this. For the first time ever, we're not going to redraw. Is that okay? Yeah? We don't have any spies, though, so this is a pretty static hand. And they don't have any spies because it's Goyatel. Oh, they used their card already. What the heck? What is it? Draw an extra card at the beginning of the battle. Ah, well, for we can use ours too, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's right. Goyatel has that spy, that zero spy. God, decoy, Yorva. Okay, good to know you have these things, I, although I can't do much about it. I can't decoy you, you're a hero. You have a decoy, Yorveth? Oh. This isn't gonna be an easy fight, is it? Oh, what? If I use my leader card, then I don't have to put down a card for that round? My round just ends? Oh. That might not actually be a bad thing, because he's put down two cards, and I haven't put down a single card yet. So if I'm trying to bait him into using more cards, that would be a pretty valid method, right? Oh, okay. Well, in this case, uh, they started off with one extra card, and now they have two extra cards from the spy. Not looking too good for me, but I think we'll be okay. How do you like Gontro Dim? We can... Commander's Horn this. If we add in the Archer, that's not a bad set of Commander's Horn at all. Okay, we can Scorch, but do we want to wait a little bit? I mean, 12 though, this one's 12. That's a lot, but we'll wait. We'll wait. Mm, 12 to 14. See, I don't want to use the Emperor Brigades right now, just in case if we want to um, double down with the, um, the range row. So, shh, do I want to win this round or do I not? That's a big thing. Oh, I can also use the dragon to get rid of the 12. <sighs> okay, let's, let's, uh... Yeah, let's do that. We can always decoy it back. Oh my god. Okay. Let's try using a commander's horn here then. We're gonna try to win this round if we can. Oh! Okay, well, in that case, in that case, I'm gonna decoy back the archer, right? Because I'm gonna still win anyway? Is that right? Let me check. That's minus 20. 44 minus 20 is 24. Oh, but the Nilfgaardian perk is that if there's a tie, I win, right? So I can do this? I think that's our perk. I'm not... I don't quite remember, actually. Yes! Oh, that's my first time using that perk! Wonderful! Oh, and we did it in such a nice way, too! Okay, we won the first round, and they still have two more cards than me. Nine! That's a lot of cards. If we go all out today, we might be okay. Hmm. Oh, earlier, did they have Scorch? No, they had Yorveth, Decoy, and the Spy, right? So they used Yorveth and the Spy already. They still have a decoy card. Just trying to think, because if he has Scorch, then we have to be a little bit worried about what numbers we put down first. But right now it's okay. Oh, or not, because 666 six, six 
Milva. Morale boost. Mm. If I put down Commander's Horn right now, then we can't kill Milva because it'll kill my own guys instead. And we can't use the dragon because they're not on the combat row, the range or uh, the close combat row. So I have to use Scorch here, right? If I put down the archer, it's gonna kill Milva and my archer. So if I want to use Scorch, I gotta use it now. Pretty much. Because I think I'm planning on winning this round if we can. Because we don't have enough cards to sustain another third round. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. Okay. Well... I'll do this. Can we do this? I'm a little bit worried. Oh. The dragon might be a... Uh... But it's not 10 yet. We gotta wait. If I lose this round, I'm done. Oh no! Oh no. Oh no. Ah! But you're now 24, which means I can use the dragon. Yes. 44, 34. Oh. Okay. Minus 10 on both sides. Not a huge loss. Are we gonna be okay? Are we gonna be okay? Fifty-three versus twenty-one. Looking good. Looking good. Oh, that's right. They had decoy. <gasps> no. Oh. Okay. Oh, that really scared me. I thought we were gonna have a repeat <laughs> of that one round where that guy beat me with one card left. Oh. Okay. That was really risky. Yeah, that was quite... I am proud of this one, though, the tie. We finally made use of the Nilf Guardian perk. That's cool. Sierran Ep... Esnilian. Oh. Is Holger still here? Is he sleeping, or... Because I'm ready to talk to you now. Hey, your wife is gone. I. Oh, that's it? How are things on Pharaoh? There is always. It's pissing buckets and fucking freezing. See, you're bursting with pride. No use cutting seal shit with honey. Pharaoh is a rock overgrown with pines, but with no need for more. Can't eat pine wood. But use it to build a longship, and you'll eat your fill of what others have grown and bred after you've taken their wenches and their gold, burned their homes to the ground. That's how Clan Dimon lives. Clan Dimon, Holger Blackhand. Oh, but we've already talked to you about this. You have nothing new. Farewell. Guess that's that. Okay, well, thank you very much. At least now we know where he lives. Is it gonna be useful? I don't know. <laughs> well, 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 well. It means we're done now, right? With this town for the time being, because this fist fighting. I do wonder if we can actually do it right now. It would probably be pretty painful though, because that guy is a good bit higher than me. But you know what? We'll leave it alone for now. And we're gonna go here, I guess? And then go here? And then maybe we'll think about getting off the island after that. Yeah. This one is... There's a structure here, but this one there's nothing. I don't think even Roach can reach that. We'll just have to walk by ourselves. This could use a sweeping. You even got a broom. Strength mm. to the last. I use it to swat pests. So you'd best watch yourself. <laughs> I'd be watching for you to sit on it and fly away. <laughs> it's so nice today, the weather, but it's always snowing here. And that's shorts, why Holger was saying, oh, it's always freezing. Oh. It's literally always snowing. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, that- <laughs> You guys sort of came out of nowhere. Ow. Hey. That is a lot of things. Ooh, I gotta be careful here because this could end really- 
You did it the wrong way, Geralt. This could end pretty badly for me if I don't manage this. Look at my health! Oh, let me just walk away for a second. Oh, 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 there's another one. Oh, whoa, that's some next level dodging skills you got. Whew. Wow. This place is really dangerous. Skellige as a whole. Can the average villager really just live like this? Dang. And I saw that in the distance. There was uh there was a few corpses. I wonder if it's things the wolves killed, like rabbits again? Or is it something else? Oh, those were rabbit corpses too. Can't pick it up. Yeah, what's going on over here? Uh, Andregas. Andregas. Okay, that's not where we need to go. Let's just leave the wildlife alone. Dead animals everywhere. Treasure guarded by Andrega worker. Just the one? Really? Hmm. A cave to some treasure here. Oh, we have to dive, don't we? It's very... Ugh. I feel like this is probably a bad idea. Oh my gosh, look at the map. So many little things going on here. Hold on. Where am I meant to be going? Here? Whoa! Oh my god! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, can I save first? <laughs> I don't think we can defeat that, right? But the treasure might be here. In fact, I think it is here. Oh! How do I get out of this? Do I just wait for it to expire? Should we just leave? Because this is really... The drones! Even the drones are much too high level for me. Right? Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go. This is not gonna work out well for me. In fact, it already isn't working out well. Let's go. Let's go. Back in the water. Back in the water! Geralt! <laughs> Good thing the Andregas can't swim, huh? It, it actually might not be here because I don't see the treasure icon anymore. Ooh, that was scary. We came here a little bit too early. Some places in Skellige, the level recommendations are like, oh, level 14, level 15. But then other things, the level recommendations are like 30. <laughs> Oh, it was right here. Then what was that? Just a random cave? Oh, well, maybe we'll come back someday. I don't know. Oh, it's in the cave, isn't it? The chest. No. We hit the treasure and hit it good. No one's gonna find it. Not in a million years. Writing exactly where and how would be plain foolish. So let's just say it's high time you return to our old puffin hunting grounds. Soon as you join us, we sail to the continent. We've got to hurry. They say, yours swore to the gods. He wouldn't rest till he's found us, flayed us, and took back his treasure. Hypocrite bastard. He could have split it evenly, like we first agreed. But no, he wanted to cheat us. And then got what was coming to him. Fucking weasel. Vrog. P.S. When you get there, keep your sword at the ready. Those are dangerous waters. I wish we read this earlier. <laughs> Can I track this? Oh, did we do this already? What? 
Oh, it must have been a place that I visited previously already. And we already got the treasure? Even though we just got the key now? Like, we didn't even need the key. <laughs> I thought it was the cave right here for sure, but... Seems like maybe that's not the case either. Oh, well... I guess we can't do anything about that. I would have liked to know where it was, though. But we couldn't. We couldn't find out. Hmm. Oh, well. Well, one more here. One more here. And I also want to know what level that quest was. Oh, I already instantly forgot what that quest was called. I think it started with an H? It's gonna take forever for me to find, isn't it? All I want to know is what level that quest was. Hidden in the depths. Level 31! Yeah, so I think it is what we saw inside there, right? But we didn't open any... Oh. Uh... When Geralt entered the underground cavern, he had to admit it was an excellent hiding place. Perhaps too excellent, in fact. The treasure mentioned in the letter was still there, and it seemed that this Njal fellow had never come to collect it. Mm! Is it a bug? There was a lot going on there. Did I accidentally open a chest? But we didn't have a key just now. Looking at the levels of the quest and the Erica's inside, that cave did seem to be the place we were supposed to go to. But I don't really know anymore. Hmm. Whatever, I suppose. I'd still like to come back someday, if we can, cause... A venomous Erechus. That's not even something I've fought before. It might have a... I think it might have a separate bestiary entry. Erechus's. And here I was, thinking the, the level 21 one was hard. Place of power. Right next to the shrine. Send us good health. And plenty of fish hmm. fill our magic. And the a place of power. <laughs> Don't pray to your gods for revenge on people. It's not a good look. One ability point. Plus, Irden intensity increases. What do you want from me? Nothing. Mm. Need help? Hmm. Are they all of the same god? Wasn't it supposed to be Hemdal? Ability point. We got one. Mm-hmm. Damage from hits received while dodging. Um, we get a new slot next time. Next level. So probably next level, we can start looking at a completely brand new skill here. For this one, though? This one's been really good. Active shield. Acquire tolerance. Uh, we'll leave that one alone for now because I haven't been using that many decoctions. As many as I would like to. Yet. Exploding shield? Oh, that's different from active shield. Honestly, I would be okay with not having this one. Yeah, it's nice, but if it takes up a slot, I am okay with replacing it with something else. And then, Ard Sweep. Yeah, Ard Sweep would be good for fighting, for example, the wolves earlier. Delusion... Maybe we'll try switching the Exploding Shield out for... Fire Stream? Fire Stream I don't use too much anyway. No. Far-reaching Ard. Yeah. Oh, okay, so if we level if we level the skill up, the knockdown chance won't be 17% lower. Huh. Maybe that's a good one to invest in. Although Ard Sweep is not I don't use it that much, but that can change, I suppose. By the way, for the oil stuff, I think I got the keys figured out. Let me see if I can get it. Yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, if I press F1, F2, F3, it switches between oil, bomb, and potions. Great. The one difficult thing about this is that I have to remember the names of the potions and what effects they have. 
But cool, good to know that we have this menu here. These are regular potions though, right? Are there decoctions somewhere? No, F5, F5 we see this screen. F6, F7, no. Um, no, that's still not quite what I want. Because white reference decoction is not actually a decoction. Aw, but it is good to know that we have this uh, potion menu here. Yeah, we'll make use of it in the future, probably. Alright, well, 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 that is all the question marks here, which means this is a good time for us to leave Pharaoh? If we want to leave, we got to go back to the city first. But after that, what do we want to do? Go back to the lowest level quest again? The Family Blade. Yes, Croc and Crate's uh, stolen Family Blade. Kuliu. Where is this one? Oh, it's like right in the center of the main continent. Yeah, I suppose we can do that. Yeah, Makes me feel a little bit lonely though, because now that we're going back to the lowest level quest thing, it's not like this, uh... We had a massive road trip all the way from Caratrol, going down south, 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 and then ending up all the way in Vero. That felt like a really nice geographical way to do it, but now that we're going back to the lowest level thing again, it's not going to be that nice anymore. Which makes me a little bit sad, but hey, maybe we'll run into a new rhythm once we get into it. Yeah, these two are both in Novigrad, so we'll leave them alone for now. This one... this one's just whatever. And then what? This one, and then Possession or Lord of Unvik. Yeah. Where are these ones? Well, I guess I don't have to worry about them yet, because I gotta get back to the town, don't I? They're prayer places. The shrines are so remote. Don't they want a shrine close to their city so that it's easier to pray at? But maybe that's part of the pilgrimage thing too, because it's like you're putting some effort into going there. Shows your sincerity to the gods and whatnot. Hey. Go back where you come from. Okay, sorry. Sorry for disturbing you. Uh kinda on the houses here. Arrow, Harbican. Oh, we're back here. Oh! Oh, this is uh Yuda's house. <laughs> You're still waiting? Feeling any better? Feeling good. Greetings. You should probably get outside and do some training or something. Is Timon okay? Oh. Timon's not here anymore. Hmm. Maybe he's not feeling so good. Well, anyway, fast travel would be... here. Back to... Sund? No, that's not that quest. Crossroads. Or... Do we want to go to Caratrold? And then try to knock a few of these off, and then go down here? We could do that. Yeah? There's one right here! What the heck? Okay. Mm. Yeah, let's try doing this. We'll... Hit this one? This one? This one? This one? And then... Oh, but there's also this little thing here, and this big thing here. That's a town, right? We just haven't discovered it yet? Yeah, okay. Here, 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 and then like... Maybe here, if we feel like it, and then the town. How's that sound? So let's go to Caratrol. This is the bridge. But I prefer me trusty axe. <laughs> Sorry. Middle Norgan's birthday tomorrow. I have no clue what to give her. Maybe a nice little axe. Turns out they spoke the truth about you. What? That he's a horrible present giver? <laughs> Giving an axe? Well, to Skellige people, giving an axe is probably pretty high honor. 
It's a weapon! Something you can defend yourself with. Last night was... <sighs> Drank a little bit too much. <sighs> Excuse me. Arr. I'm looking for the way to wrap out of here. Which involves going here, right? Yeah, because now we're leaving. <laughs> Sorry! Whoa! Whoa, okay, that's not... <sighs> it's hard to use Roach here. This whole place is just so mountainous. Run, Roach. Are you Nilfgaardian? Come on, Roach. Are these Nilfgaardian prisoners? Whoa! We've stumbled into a camp. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure you're okay with me taking that. No guardians. Hmm. Oh, they don't even get to wear anything warm when the when it's snowing like this. That kind of sucks. There's something here? There's a lot of... A lot of things underground for some reason. Come on now. If we wanna... Oh, it's really, really far away and there's no... There's no main road at all. This is gonna be pretty hard to get to, isn't it? I feel like it is. Cause the mountains and stuff. Faster. How the heck are we gonna get... Uh... If we go the wrong way completely, then we're not gonna be able to... Slow now. Whoa. Oh, sorry, Roach. What the heck is this? Hello? This seems like a castle or something, not just a cave. No monsters? Oh. This might be a crypt. Runestone? Is that it? Seems like this place is so big for the amount of stuff we got from it. Uh. Hold on. Did we come from this way or... Oh, they go back to the same place. What about this? I have a feeling we came inside here from the wrong end. Because that felt more like the exit, right? But then again, we had to art that place, so maybe not. Whoa! Oh, I thought that was an endless pit. Oh. That might be an endless pit. There's things down there. Night Wraith. Are you coming to get me? Mm. I'm so confused about where we are right now. If we go down there, are we gonna die? No. <laughs> no. Wow, there's even herbs growing here. This must have been a castle long forgotten about. Oh, okay. Uh, Night Wraith would be... Spectre Oil. And, um... That's pretty much all we can do. Regular Wraiths, too. These are really high level. Am I gonna be okay? We do have Iridan Intensity right now, so this would be a good time to fight it. Oh, it died so fast. Where's the Night Wraith? Hello? Come here? Come inside, my friend! Come teleport to me! Oh, what are you doing? Oh, this place might be far bigger than I- Oh my god, where are we? 
Every time we come to a place that's this grand, I always worry that I've stumbled into a location where we have a quest, but I haven't picked up the quest yet. <laughs> I really hope that's not the case here, but I do get the feeling that that is what's happened. Because this place is huge. Oh, well, maybe we'll be clearing out the wraiths beforehand. Or maybe when we try to do a quest, it'll just be like, Oh yeah, I've already done this. You're welcome. Daystar. This seems like a morning location too. A crypt? Yeah, a crypt would be a morning location. Do you actually want to fight me or...? Ow. These guys hit hard, right? Gotta remember that. Why did the first one die so quickly? I don't even know. We haven't seen the Night Wraith yet. <laughs> There's a whole bunch here. Show me what you got. They're a little bit higher level than us, but we're doing okay. We're holding our own. Oh, for all the diagrams we picked up, I think we should go check if we can craft any swords. Ah, we gotta go back to the stash so we can get the old sword to upgrade it. Yeah, we were just at Caratrol too. Forgot about that. The icons on the map are bugged out again. There's a Night Wraith. You are not normal. You need the Earden. For the Wraith, I think it's more optional, but for you, it's a necessity. Come here. God damn it, come here. Okay. Oh, we've just looted some flowers. Is this another... Hey, look through the, the dead bodies and find some... thing. Thing again? It may be, because we had one of those in The Witcher 2. Hmm. Did we kill the Night Wraith already? I don't feel like we did. Okay, uh... Like that. Are we getting further away from the place we were trying to go or what? Okay, you know what? I totally feel like we've walked in from the exit end. This feels like the entrance. Yeah! <laughs> Where are we? Oh my god, we're like nowhere near... We're walking further and further away! Yeah, Roach is here! What the heck am I doing? Yeah, that's the outside. No. Oh. People looting graves and tombs. I guess we're not gonna know what this is actually for until we come across the quest that says, Hey, go to this place. Is that blood? Oh my god. No, it's flowers. Flower petals. Okay, well this was bizarre. <laughs> Where are we now? Entrance. A ghost! We're all gonna die! Agent woman. Ever heard a ghost walk so loud? Drag its feet? It's a man. Flesh and bone. Except what's he seek here? Just exploring the tunnel other side of the hill. Why are you here? Came here to cut nails. Nails? Of corpses. Don't you know? Wraiths use nails to build their cursed longship. So you're hoping you can make him run short of materials? We would if we could get in the crypts, but there's ghosts inside. Would you tend to them? Been there, done that? Fine, I'll see what I can do about the ghosts. 
Has that not been completed? Oh, we gotta go back in again? What level is this? 25? Usually I wouldn't do it, but we're right here and we just came out of the tomb. We should have killed everybody already. Except for the Night Wraith. I don't think I saw the Night Wraith die. It just sort of disappeared. Monsters on the lower level. It's on the map. Yeah, there you are. Again. Okay, you gotta not run away because I need to kill you. And you gotta stay in the Irden thing too. Where are it? Why was it running away from me the whole time? That's it. It's the only thing I needed to do. Come on, if I did this beforehand, I would have gone to look cool. Like, oh yeah, guys, I already did all that. You're welcome. But no. That Night Wraith ran away from me time and time again. That's okay. That was a pretty easy job. And now I feel a little bit better. Because it seems like it's okay that we did it in this order. Greetings to you. And to you. Took care of the ghosts. Crypt is safe. Thank you for your help, white-haired one. We'll make a sacrifice to Freya in your name. Thank you. Does that give me good luck and good fortune? So even at level 21, we can do level 25 quests pretty easily. We don't have to be abiding by that level restriction too much, but it's nice to, right? Because otherwise, you're gonna end up with level 10 quests by the end. Um, the one problem is, that is just... not where I was going at all, in terms of looking for the question marks. So I think this time, I'm just gonna give up on that. And we're gonna go straight to the Family Blade. Is that okay? Because now that's actually a little bit closer. <laughs> Roach. Still pretty mountainous though. I think we have to follow the main roads. But here, there are main roads, so that's good. Sorry, excuse me. I did notice Ranvig had a notice board marker. Did we not look at that yet? We've been to Ranvig, right? Slower. Wait, I thought I saw a shadow Hell just yeah. now. of a flying creature, but I don't see it in the sky. Whatever. I know it's really tempting to cut across, but we gotta follow the roads here. Here. Abandoned sight. Oh, there's a danger, but we don't know where it is. We gotta keep walking. Hello, danger! Show yourself. Uh, that stench. It's you guys. Woo! Yeah, I think the quest we're at right now, Family Blade, it's a level 15 quest and it's a grayed out quest now. I don't think it was grayed out before we did the previous quest, but, you know, what can you do? It's not that it really matters. I noticed that some of the quests give you, like, one experience point. But yeah, again, if we're gonna do everything, it doesn't really matter anyway, I guess. Great. Everyone's back here doing their own thing. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. That's how you earn respect at Skellige, Geralt. 
That's exactly how. By liberating abandoned sites? Okay, you're you're welcome. Been a while, come on. Maybe they got lost. They've been hauling lumber along this road for 20 years. And you think they got lost? Maybe Triads captured them. Granda told me they once ruled these woods. Who oh, wouldn't mind one of them dryads taking me? <laughs> You're a fool. You know what they do to men like us? They got us. Then weave our entrails over the trees as a warning to others. That only reminds me of my failed romance with the dryad in The Witcher 1. Made me so sad. <laughs> oh, she got pissed at me for mentioning trees or something and... My reasoning was that I was trying to appeal to her sense of nature and the woods and whatnot. But it's not like she was a tree, so she didn't like that very much. <gasps> oh, I'm still bitter about that. Very bitter. <laughs> oh! No, I got distracted. I'm walking towards the, the green marker again, when I should be. Okay. For now, I should probably just remove that one. Is it gone or? Oh, it's stuck. <laughs> it's stuck. Yeah, it should be gone. Yeah, it's gone. We see a, a statue thingy in the distance. Look for a thieves camp near the obelisk. That's gotta be the obelisk. Yes, Croc and Crate is angry because someone stole his family blade. From the treasure room. Hmm. And we've got a clue that the people who took it are near the obelisk here. There's a lot of like worshipping things in Skellige. Offerings. Oh, well, it's right here. Don't know what you came here seeking, Wanderer, but that's what you find. Yeah. Do we have to kill them? Because I need you to tell me where the sword is before I kill you. Your mom shot you out. Neither. <laughs> that was a new one. Hadn't heard that one before. Search the thieves' camp for the sword named Coolio. Yes, because when we pick up a sword, we just magically know its name. It's not gonna be that easy, is it? Brian Old, fat as a seal for winter, Yar, with a maw that reeks like a cesspit, but your head, brilliant. Making a mold of the key with a lump of clay, damn clever. Can't believe I didn't think of it myself. I strolled right into the armory after dark. Kuliu was lying there, right where you said, in a case, wrapped in oilcloth. What a blade. Fits your hand like a toothsome lass's tit. Points sharp as a needle, hilt set with gems. Stared so hard, I didn't hear that fool Olaf coming. He would have caught me had he not tripped and smacked his gob into the ground. Seems the gods are looking after us. So now we've got to sell the blade, and that won't be easy. Not many got that kind of coin, and them who do, don't want to cross croc. Luckily, my brother... Yirin <laughs> knows a merchant, a fellow named Gimmer, who always finds willing buyers for second-hand goods. They're going to meet in the old fortress near Firesdal. Maybe they'll make a deal with Lugos? He's got heaps of gold and not a drop of fear for an ancrate. Cheers to you, old goat. Zvenar. Yeah, the gods are surely looking after you. You're all dead now. Track down the thieves at the old fort, which is where? 20,000 miles away, as it turns out. No, it's right here. Which is pretty much 20,000 miles away. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Just wondering, did we never look at that or. I think what we can do is we can travel down here. Oh, win a unique card from Ermion. Gwent! There was a Gwent person here. Oh, okay. So maybe what we can do is we'll go down here and then, you know, explore the town a little bit and then go here, get the Gwent card, and then... 
Oh, you know what? I just realized we haven't been to Ranveig before, right? But it's because reading the brochures gave me the tra the fast travel points. But this notice board marker is a telltale sign that I haven't been there before. Ah, yeah, because usually I associate markers with places that we've been to before, but that's not the case in Skellige. No. Yeah, anyway though, we'll go this way, this way, and then maybe just travel along the road here, the main road. Visit this town quickly. There's quests here. Two! Continuations off what we did previously? No, there's one. There's one and there's a notice board in the back. Okay. Alright. Let's get going then. This time we are following the green marker. Get over, Roach. Uh, Come on now. Is that a Cyclops again? Slow now. I think you're awake, right? Did you kill somebody here? Oh, it's okay. We don't need to do this. <laughs> Goodbye. You live your life. I live mine. Dang, man. There's just Cyclopses everywhere and... It's so dangerous. What is this? There's a crypt here. Probably means... Wraiths again. Oh, it's really small. Hmm. Yeah, that's nice. Is there anything going on in here? Doesn't actually seem so. There is a location here, but I don't see anything that's glowing or... Hmm, well, we can light all the candles. Yeah, not too much going on. Now it's all nicely lit here. For the ancestors. Okay, well. One more here. That works, right? Using Igni to light the, the thing. Hey, why is it turning- Oh, wait. I thought we might be using the torches to open up something, but no. No. What, did I not turn this on? Yeah, everything is still lit. Okay. Hmm. Maybe just a nice little crypt here. That's fine. Hey -ya. We see the city already. The town. Hello? Blander. You must here, huh? Heard there's silver in them hills. Aye, it's there, but tain't so easy to get it out. Why is that? Vein too deep in the rock? Nay, there's something in those caves. Something that kills any man that enters. Pickaxe in hand, or no? Which caves are you guys Oi, talking about? Witcher, got an offer for you. <sighs> What's this offer? Got a contract for me? Might do. If you're willing to partner with me. Usually work alone. Could pay to make an exception this time. It's not every day you get a chance to work with the most renowned bounty hunter north of the Yaruga. Jenga Fred himself. Sorry, never heard of you. <laughs> I'll bite. What's the famous Jenga Fred need a witcher for? I'm guessing you're a man of the world. Perhaps you've come across the Grossbart brothers in your travels. You hunting them? Aye, quite the rogues they are. Three of them, and everyone's got a pack of rapes and murders under his belt. Even took to grave robbing lately. Easy to recognize on account of the yellow caps they wear. Folks see three yellow tops, they flee to their huts. Which don't help much, of course, because they're also fond of arson. No, haven't met him. If you do, tread careful. They're quick to stick a knife in a man's gut. Often just by way of greeting. Doubt they'd try that with a witcher. You never know with that lot. Right, well I head south soon. Haven't looked there yet. Fare you well. <laughs> we might meet again someday. The sad tale of the Grosspart brothers. Huh? Wait, 
Are you just gonna completely ignore the fact that witchers usually hunt monsters? I know these guys are monsters, but I'm talking about the traditional kind of monsters, right? You're not even like, hey man, do you make exceptions and hunt humans? No, we just... We're, we're past that point. We know Geralt hunts people. That's just the end of it. Drunk person in the middle of the day. Level 26. Okay. In Southern Art Skellig. Where are these guys? Southern Art Skellig. Maybe like here? I don't know which one's Art Skellig. This one? Oh, here. Grotto. Alright. 